Believe it or not, there's not a whole ton of Halloween themed things on Netflix. And you know, as streaming is, the catalog of things is always rotating. But at the moment, these are the three best films and shows, TV show episodes that I chose to pick to talk about. I also want to clarify that this is in the United States and kick off the list of number six, which is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Now, this is a great PG-13 horror film that takes place on Halloween, of course, based off the Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark books. Now, there's a lot of things this film does very, very well. There's a lot of things it fails at, but I think that this is a pretty solid film to throw on in October that has a lot of Halloween going on. You've got cornfields, you've got costumes, trick-or-treating, you've got ha haunted houses and teenagers running all over town, solving a mystery, working together, trying to figure things out. Lots of creatures and different scary elements in here, but also still PG-13, so the vast majority of people can watch it and have a good time. This is definitely a solid entry list if you're looking for something to check out on Netflix during the Halloween season. All right, number five is going to be something that everyone is very aware of, but I'm going to mention it anyway, and that is Stranger Things, specifically the episode called Chapter 2, Trick or Treat Freak. Now, Stranger Things has a lot of elements that fit right in with the Halloween season, and again, it's kind of safe for majority of the family. It's got a lot of cool, creepy horror elements, but it also has Halloween themed episodes. And again, specifically this episode, dressing up in classic costumes, lots and lots of uh, little Easter eggs and things that you're going to notice, of course. And I know a lot of people have probably seen this, but it's a great episode to revisit if you may have forgot about it when you're like nitpick or pin picking out episodes that you want to watch around the Halloween season, this is a good one to throw on. All right, number four is going to get you to roll your eyes big time, but it's Hubie Halloween. Now, I I like this movie. I like it a lot. I understand it's not the best film in the world. I understand how it might put you off a little bit, but man, it's filmed in Salem. It's beautiful to look at. There's Halloween decorations galore. I love the little mystery that's going on here. I think it's funny. Adam Sandler's voice that he does, very annoying but there's so many elements that I just love about this film, and it's a perfect one to kind of throw on when you're carving pumpkins, or you're decorating, or you're just chilling, but you don't want to necessarily invest in something super serious or intense, but you really want those Halloween vibes, the leaves, the beautiful location in Salem, Massachusetts. Again, Halloween decorations, trick-or-treating, costumes, so much going on here to love and a perfect one to just throw on in the background. All right, number three is going to be the show Goosebumps. And there are a ton of great episodes in the show Goosebumps that have to do with Halloween. A ton that you could throw on and watch, but I'm specifically going to mention The Haunted Mask because it, it's classic. It's on Netflix right now. And it's just such a good Halloween themed episode. Iconic from my childhood personally. And I just love the story of the haunted mask and there's just so much great stuff in there that has to do with halloween great one to throw on again to revisit as well as of course it is very family friendly although goosebumps does get a little dark depends on what you consider to be family friendly but if you watch stranger things watch goosebumps but the haunted mask is just a great great episode that maybe you've forgotten about that you go Revisit and is on Netflix right now. All right, coming in number two is the last film on this list, and it is Halloween 2018. I mean, come on, it just dropped on Netflix, and it's Michael Myers. Can you get more Halloween than Michael Myers? Now, again, I love Halloween 2018. I understand some of its criticisms. I do. But I think it's still a rock-solid entry into the Halloween series. You know, I'm not talking about the sequels, but specifically Halloween 2018. Now, this is just an absolute essential around Halloween time. The original Halloween is not on Netflix right now. You could probably find it somewhere streaming, but we're talking about Netflix. And right now, Netflix has Halloween 2018. So if you have, for some reason, not seen it, or if you're in the mood for some Michael Myers, but you're on Netflix, go check it out. What better to watch around the Halloween season than Michael freaking Meyer. All right, coming in, number one is a show that I just personally love and has so many great horror episodes that are so unbelievably underrated. Now, another one of these shows that has definitely gained popularity as it has gone on and been off the air, 
But at the time, especially that this episode specifically aired, it was not as well known and popular, and it definitely deserved more love. The film, the, the film, the show I am talking about is Supernatural. And as I mentioned, there's a whole bunch of episodes you could consider to be Halloween themed. There's just episodes galore that you could throw on. And Supernatural is just such an awesome show with so many great seasons. But the episode I'm specifically talking about is the Halloween themed episode in season four called It's the Great Pumpkin, Sam Winchester. This is such a cool episode. And this is one of the only episodes where you've got Sam and Dean, if you've seen the show, actually eating candy, talking about Halloween, trick-or-treating. It dives a lot into the lore and some of the backstory of the of Halloween and the season, why we celebrate it, and it does it in the very supernatural way where it creates this horror icon and this idea of Halloween and the history, and it puts a face to it, and Sam and Dean have to fight it, and I'm not going to like go into too, too many details or give too much away, but just such a great episode to throw on about Halloween time. I will watch this one again and again and again, even when I'm not watching the show, because as I mentioned, it's a very good one and done episode that specifically is catered around Halloween. It does, of course, have some like seasonal stuff that's thrown in there. So if you're not watching the season, there's going to be a few things that you're going to be like, oh, I don't really know what that's about. But for the most part, I think it's a pretty solid one that you can throw on and still enjoy at any time. By any time, I mean if you're not like keeping up with the story about what's going on in the season, you can still throw this on a Halloween time and have a good time. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below which is your favorite or which one you are going to check out. I hope you're having a fantastic October. Take care. I don't mind it scared. I'm a big bad wolf. Oh, I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in cap style. Everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said come through. You can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walking with each other.